as you said, you heard from the Lord as you were praying and at work and just kind of doing that. Uh, you said, you know, we could talk to him every day. You know, that's what you said, you know. Um, you made that comment. <laughs> you know, you said that. Um, so how, how does that, how was that brought about? How was that developed? You know, somebody may say, you know, I want to be able to hear the Lord with such certainty, you know. Um, I, I have things that come to mind. I don't know how to differentiate if it's the bad pizza or, or you good. know. Yeah. Uh, how do we kind of go about dif- differentiating the voice, you know, of the Lord if it's just myself? Yeah. yeah. Um, I know for me that it. I remember growing up, being younger, um, and hearing my grandparents talk about it all the time. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. You hear the Lord all the time. You talk to him every day. Like, he has something to say every day. I'm like, yeah. Like, I, I didn't believe it. Like, I it just, I thought it was just something that Christians said. Um, and that they pick what they wanted to to hear the Lord on and made you do it because of what they wanted. And um, as I got older, I think it really started to take shift in my life. I would say about five years ago, five, six years ago. Um, when I came to Mercy Culture, and in the the thing is the the value and and the and the mission is like from corporate encounters to daily and personal encounters, and so um, one of the things that I realized that I didn't have in my life was daily encounters with him, um, which opened the door to many many of my prayers. And one being, I just want to be around him more. Um, to like, Lord, I want I, there was things in my life that I needed freedom from that was not being accessed because I wasn't being around him um, daily. Like I was doing it like once or twice a week or three times a week. Um, and then even getting his word. And so one of the things that I would always, I always hear my grandmother in the back. He said, she would always say, if you want to hear the Lord speak, read the word. And amen. And I'm like, really? Cause I grew up with King James version. <clears throat> So it's kind of hard reading the word, like thee, thy, thou, you know. Um, and sometimes it still comes out at times, which is beautiful, you know. Um, but I think um, as I've walked with the Lord all these past few years, um, just making the priority to encounter him every day, what it looks like. Maybe one day may look different from the next and realizing that it's okay. Uh, one day maybe being able to sit in his presence and not even say anything, uh, which allow him to pour his love on you. Another day may be um, prayer, you know, um, petitioning. Um, other day may just be him asking you, uh, it may be um, a first thought that you wake up in the morning and you're like, why do I feel this urge to like go for a walk this morning? Um, it could be the Holy Spirit. Um, and the question is like, if it's the Holy Spirit, you know, if you obey that, what would happen? Um, what will you lose if you go for a walk that morning? Um, and and so it was just like the little nudges of things over time like that. Hey, like, go for a walk. Hey, stay here for a moment. You know, hey, pray for this person to make came in mind uh, one time. Um, and one situation happened where um, I, was, I was at work, and all of a sudden I felt anxiety. I really don't, at the season, I really didn't really deal with anxiety that much, but it just came, it overcame me a lot. Um, and I was like, whoa, this this came out of nowhere. I'm not, nothing on, like, there was no onset to this. Nothing caused this. What is this? And um, oh, I thought the Holy Spirit was like, hey, like, this is someone else. And I was like, okay. So I just started praying. And literally, my friend's name popped up in my spirit. Um, someone said, in their mind, in my mind as well. I saw his name. Like, I literally, you know, you think about something, I see his name. And I was like, Okay, so I just start praying. I literally start praying. I'm like, I'm crying. I, I'm like, what is happening? Am I getting delivered or something? I don't know what's going on. Um, all of a sudden, it just, I feel like it kind of like lifts. So I felt peace after praying. I go to my desk. Um, I text him and I was like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I'm thinking about you. You're on my mind. You're on my spirit. Um, I'm praying for you. Literally, he texts back. He's like, bro. I needed this because I'm going through like this anxiety attack. And I was like, thank you, Holy Spirit. Like I would have never known um, of that if it wasn't for his presence. Um, And so, yeah, there may be little nudgings of the Holy Spirit. Like there's a scripture where it talks about um, he'll be like a whisper behind you and telling you this is the way walk in it. This is the way walk in it. And that's how I see relationship with the Holy Spirit is that he's there sometimes in the the finest whisper, um, just asking you, nudging you to go this way or go that way or maybe sit or stay. So it's kind of how it's kind of cultivated with me over time. Yeah. And especially with me over the last 
couple years as I've been prioritizing like daily times with the Lord as well. Mm-hmm. I've seen in my own life, whether it's like shown itself externally or not, like I've seen the Lord speak so much more. And even this morning I was going back and trying to put, I do this from time to time, like put in like concise pages in my journal. Like, all right, what are the big things that the Lord spoke over the last like two, three months to, cause I think in the daily grind of life, we can forget how much the Lord does speak and the thought can trickle in of like, dang, I haven't heard the Lord say something super major in like months. Like what is going on? Like I, I'm just, I'm so lost in everything that we forget all these like big things. And then even going back helps us like steward those things and carry those things.